that it's not quite a conspiracy theory. It's not a conspiracy theory, but it is a little scary. Um, so I thought I'd, I'd share this tweet with you. Let me just find it quickly. It's my good friend, Yoram Chazoni, who I've debated on national conservatism and who is, a, 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 of course, a national conservative. Uh, he, by the way, just did a uh, interview with um, Jordan Peterson. I haven't watched that yet. I will be watching it and hopefully analyze, you know, bringing to you uh, sections of it so we can talk about it. But he did tweet something. Um, he did tweet something today. Here it is. All right, here's, here's the, the ultimate conspiracy theory, if you will, the thing that you should really be afraid of. Um, uh, this is what Chazoni tweeted 13 hours ago. He said, Orthodox religions, traditions, remember, the, uh, let me just say this again, Yoram is super smart, intelligent, well-read, he's read Ayn Rand, he says he likes Ayn Rand, his kids, his Orthodox kids have read Ayn Rand. Um, super smart, Again, uh, uh, again, studied history, knows his history, knows the Enlightenment, he knows, says he's pro-capitalism, all of that stuff, all of that stuff. Um, and this is what he tweets. Orthodox religious traditions, Christian and Jewish, are the only thing that will survive the blast furnace of ongoing cultural revolution. Make sure you're on the right side of this struggle. Orthodox religious traditions, Christian and Jewish, are the only thing that will survive the blast furnace of the ongoing cultural revolution. Make sure you're on the right side of this struggle. I, I mean, I'll just, just the first thing that comes to my mind is, really, you think the Jews are going to survive this? <laughs> you really think that when the Christians win... When they dominate countries like the United States and Europe, if, if there really is this revival of Christianity, they're going to go hug and embrace and, uh, and, and, and be, be, be best friends with the yarmulke-wearing Orthodox Jews? In what universe does that exist? If Christians, Orthodox religious tradition, is a religious tradition of murder of Jews. It's a religious tradition of anti-Semitism. It's a religious tradition of conspiracy theories regarding all kind of stories about Jews and the things that they do late at night in the dark in their relationship with the devil. So really, if, we're, if, if the Orthodox Christians win, and, and we're not talking about the moderate Christians, that founding father type Christians. No, no, no. Orthodox religious traditions. And then, of course, if he's right, and, and this, is the, this is the thing, <laughs> Yom Chazoni's prediction is consistent with Lenny Peikoff's prediction. Is consistent with I, what I've been warning you. Right. This is this is the prediction that is very likely to come true. Of course, Leonard Peikoff does not recommend that you make sure you're on the right side of this struggle. I mean, really? So if the Orthodox religious traditions, Christian and Jewish, are the only thing that will survive the blast furnace of the ongoing cultural revolution, then say goodbye to freedom. Certainly say goodbye to liberty. And say goodbye to the pursuit of happiness. In other words, in other words, and this turns upside down the whole worldview of Yom Chazoni, say goodbye to a moral life. Say goodbye to morality. Say goodbye to be able to pursue your values. Say goodbye to being able to pursue a rational life. Say goodbye to be able to pursue a life of reason. Say goodbye to be able to pursue a life of virtue as a rational being understands such a concept. No. If the Orthodox religious traditions are going to win, 
They will decide what virtue is. They will decide what morality is. You will follow orders. You will follow commandments. You will do as you're told. There is no freedom. There is no liberty. And therefore, there is no morality. Commandments are not morality. Being forced to do what you're told is not morality. Following dogma is not morality. No, this isn't some mild form of religion we're talking about here. We're talking about orthodox religious traditions. Traditions. The past. Not none of this watered down pro enlightenment Christianity. None of this watered down enlightenment Judaism. No, we're talking about all out. Go back to the source, the brutality of the Old and New Testament. Do it right. So, now, this is, and, and Chazoni is the moderate. <laughs> Chazoni is the moderate. You know, the, you know, the national conservatives led by Chazoni have split from the integrationalists because the integrationalists believe that the national conservatives are too moderate. The Patrick Deneens, the Vimuls, the Sahaba uh, Maoris of the world, oh no, they're not going to be as nice and as pleasant and as friendly as Yoram Chazoni is. They take their orthodox religious traditions seriously. They don't putz around. Anyway, I thought I'd brighten your day with that tweet from Chazoni, but we'll talk more about it uh, as, as uh, we're going to have to dig into the integrationalists and uh, dig in. Suppose the uh, Deneen has a new book coming out, which I'll have to get, a, 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 a positive book. His past books have been um, integra integralists. Thank you, Thomas. Not integrationalists. That would be good, integration. <laughs> See, I'm too benevolent. Uh, it's integralists, integralists who are Catholics, and uh, who who, uh, who are integralists. This is a this is a Catholic theological term. Um, so uh, the integralists, uh, we'll have to do a show on them. Um, uh, Denine has a new book coming out, presenting a positive view of what they believe, um, and um, the. Uh, you know, because all this past work and the big criticism against the integralists has been that they have only focused on a criticism of liberalism, a criticism of the left, a criticism of Republicans, of conservatives, and they've never presented a, 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 a positive, a positive. God, I mean, Scott has the audacity, the irrationality, the, the insanity of saying at the end of what I just said and after that tweet, he has the, I don't know, the, 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 the um, I guess the suicidal uh, instinct of saying, this is a direct quote from the chat, let's help Chazoni then. Because there's a worst enemy, because there's somebody even worse than Chazoni, we should help Chazoni even though Chazoni wants to lay the foundation, lay the yellow brick road in, or, or the red carpet, however you, whatever metaphor you want, for the other side. He's a moderate? He's a moderate? He just said that religion is going to dominate the world. He just said that the culture wars are upon us and religion in its orthodox traditionalist, uh, uh, that, is, that is moderate? Are you insane? The fact that somebody is even worse than you are doesn't make you a moderate. I mean, it, uh, sorry, but this mentality that Scott illustrates here, it drives me nuts. It drives me nuts. It drives me crazy because this is how we lose. Let's sell our souls to the lowest bidder. Let's sell our souls to anybody who, who, who mouths the words. I don't, know, I don't even know what words they are because Chazoni is so bad. I would rather have, I would rather have a, uh, a, 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 a center left any day. I would rather have a center left world. No, my ally, if that's the standard, my ally is, uh, is uh, 
I don't know, I'd rather live in California than live in Chazoni's world. By a long shot, maybe I should go volunteer uh, for, for the governor of California's. Uh, are you insane? Do you know what it means to live in a theocracy? Even a moderate theocracy? Do you care about your personal liberties? Do you care about freedom? Do you care about your life? Do you care about your mind? Do you care about what you can read and what you can say and what you can do? Do you care about liberty and freedom? Do you even know what those mean? Do you all need to sell your soul down to a moderate religionist who wants to do away with freedom and liberty in the name of what? Because, oh my God, I'm afraid of the more extremist. All right, let's switch to conspiracy theories and much more, um, uh, uh, much nicer. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content, and of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.